How are we doing YouTube? It's our Six Monkey here and I'm back doing something that I haven't done for a wee while. I'm doing a bit of an unboxing video. Now this one I'm I'm really excited about, you know, I've I've probably just spent a big chunk of my kids' inheritance, but do you know what? Fuck it. Once I'm uber famous on YouTube, you know, they'll they'll no need inheritance, you know, they'll have they'll have my fame to live off eh? <laughs> Alright, who are we kidding? Right, so we'll jump straight into it. So, you, you may remember a couple of weeks ago I'd done a wee video was on a, seeing something about the GoPro Fusion on the Gadget Show and I thought, you know what, I really fancy one of them. So guess what? I bought one! Yay! So, I just got it the day. I'm going to unbox it, obviously, show you what's in it. Now, I will have some videos coming of basically just trying it out, finding out the right position. Hopefully, some of the mounts on the bike will be good for it. Feeling that it will be going on the helmet like a Teletubby. So well, so first off, it's a uh, boxed. Gives you all your information. Uh, Eighteen megapixel camera. 5.2K 30 frames per second or 3K 60 frames per second 360 degree video. Uh, it's waterproof up to 16 foot, 5 meter. Voice control, uh, image still a bit of stabilization. So let's go right in there. So here we go. There it is. There it is the GoPro Fusion. So what I've found out online is uh, I actually if I just see where it opens up. Right, so that's your charging point. Where is it? Wait. So this is all new to me. So it is. Uh, as I was saying, what I found out is it actually runs two SD cards. So what I also done was I got two 128 gig micro SD cards. They should do the job. That's obviously just your instruction gubbins. Comes with a little nice carry case that just sits in because, unlike other GoPros, the lenses on these aren't interchangeable. So, basically, if you smash a lens, you're gupped. So, that's how the case comes in handy for transporting that about. So, I bet you get with it, you get your flat mount. You get your curved mount, your USB-C cable, and you get your battery. Uh, as you can see, it is quite a quite a good sized battery, so you're going to get quite a bit of life out of that. So, if we put that in there. Uh, ah, there you go, it says on the battery. So if you look in there, you'll see SD1, SD2, and uh, that's obviously where you put your SD cards. And what it actually does is it records from each lens. Uh, you also get your thumb screw, and most importantly, you get your GoPro pole. Now, from what I've seen online, the good thing about this is once the when if you've got the GoPro mounted to this and it is sitting basically I'm not going to sort of screw it on, but it's sitting straight in a line, then the pole is actually invisible. You know, the camera doesn't pick it up, so that's how you get the shots that look as though you know the camera's just floating in front of the people. Uh, it's also a I don't actually know. 
how this all works yet, but it's a tripod and it's also an extendable pole. You know, I don't want it just going force it now, but let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what it does. They fair know how to wrap this stuff up, don't they? There we go. So it acts as a tripod and it also acts as a selfie stick. So you can obviously have the camera mounted to that and away you go. So the main reason I went for the 128 gig memory cards is because I've read and apparently for every minute of video is something like 1.2 gigabytes of data is what it saves so I uh, there you go there it's started up obviously I'll go through the the settings so well so English uh, asking if you want to turn on GPS. I'll set this all up at my leisure and get it all sorted and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get out at some point and actually try it out. Now this isn't going to be, you know, it's not as if all my videos are going to have footage for that, you know, this is just going to be for certain videos. Uh, the main reason I got it just now was because the end of next month I'm away to the Isle of Man for the TT and I just thought you know having something like this I'm going to try it out a few times beforehand find out if there's any suitable mounting points on the bike I can use as I say it's failing that it's going to be on the helmet look like a Teletubby but it's not something that's going to get used all the time you know so it gives you a chance to actually see from uh, you know the the views of the the Isle of Man course uh, because obviously through YouTube you can watch you can watch it if you've got a PS4 with PlayStation VR you can actually watch 360 videos with that or you know even simple stuff like so the wee VR goggles that you slip your phone into and you can sit and watch YouTube through that so. Hopefully, you know, you do actually start to watch that sort of stuff and hopefully you enjoy it. So, that's really at the now, guys. As I say, I was just wanting to do an unboxing video. Uh, I'm just sort of setting up some of the... I'll need to connect it up to my app on my phone and that. Uh, because I've also heard that the the render time from you know once you plug that into your uh, computer to upload your videos it is ridiculously long because the file sizes are so large you know you think about it it's connected it's uh, running two SD cards and through the two SD cards uh, through the GoPro app on your computer it then will convert into a full 360 degree video for you and then you've got the option of using there you go it's switching off from you've got the option of using over capture which lets you mess about with the videos uh, so I'm actually looking forward to actually getting the grips with it so that's it guys, I bit the bullet, I went, I got a GoPro Fusion, I'm chuffed to bits I've got it and just stay tuned and hopefully there will be some videos of it coming soon and later on obviously it will result in, I will do a review once I've, once I've played about with it a bit, once I know what it does. Uh, I'll give you my feedback on it 
But that's really it, guys. Thanks for watching. As I say, stay tuned for 360 degree videos and other bits and pieces. And that's really it. So remember, raid safe, keep our shine side up. Till next time, bye.